Yo, what's up, family? Peace and blessings, peace and blessings, Mark the Messenger. So I made a video about two, three weeks ago. It was titled, it already started, but people still don't see it. And I was telling you people how the Fed now, the CBDC digital currency, which will be, which is Mark of the Beast technology, uh, is coming out at the end of July. And it released two days ago. It released on the 9th, I think the 19th or the 20th. And um, I want to share with you guys, cause a lot of people were saying, you know, Mark, what is the CBDC? You know, what, what you know, what's the Fed now? Uh, people don't even understand that your your rights are being slowly stripped away from you, but and no one sees it. Just like when Nazi Germany uh, took over, before before they took over, it was slowly seeds started to plant. They didn't just take over the next day, and that's exactly what's happening here in Babylon. Okay, but people are distracted, just like I said in that video, and you know people are thinking this is a good thing. You know now we can't boycott this because this is Bible prophecy taking place. And uh, so let's play the clip, and I'm going to add on to my commentary afterwards, too. Uh, fair use, fair use. The Federal Reserve announcing it has gone live with its new FedNow instant payment system, a system that should allow households and businesses to send payments and receive money immediately without those troubling three-day holds on checks and waiting for payments to clear in the sender's account and waiting for the bank to open on Monday or after a holiday. The FedNow system is an instant payment system. It's available 24-7, 365 days a year. To begin with, 35 banks and 16 service providers have already signed up. Those banks include things like J.P. Morgan and Wells Fargo, as well as smaller credit unions and other banks. Unclear if the banks are going to charge for this instant payment. They are charged, but they may or may not pass that along to consumers. Uh, Fed Chair Jay Powell saying in a press release, over time, as more banks choose to use this tool, the benefits to individuals and businesses will include enabling a person to immediately receive a paycheck or a company to instantly access funds when an invoice in, is paid. This doesn't eliminate the PayPals and the Venmos of the world or Zelle. Theoretically, they could use the FedNow system, which is a bank-to-bank -bank system, to send payments, but it's unclear, guys, if those services now face a new challenge from banks of all sizes that can offer similar services. Sarah? But bottom line, faster faster payments, good for consumer, right, Steve? I, I, my, I think so, that, Sarah. That's that's exactly right. I think that you get there and you um, uh, uh, you don't have those holds on the checks. Mm -hmm. Look, if you have money in your account and you send money to somebody else with an account, obviously they can take that money out, but there's actually a hold on that account. It's really for people who don't have that money on account. Say a small business guy who's doing a big project gets a payment, has to mm -hmm. wait till that payment clears, it could really help them out. So... They said that, oh, yeah, you know, Cash App, Venmo, so, you know, it could be linked together. Guys, Cash App, Venmo, uh, Zelly, PayPal, that's all going to be a thing of the past because they're pushing out the CBDC digital currency. And, like, I, I, I strongly believe, guys, this is going to be linked to the mark of the beast. Um, what comes next after this? Now, of course, they're going to have to induce fear. They have to induce panic to get people to enroll and, you know, to want to use their currency. The U.S. dollar is going to crash, Okay. This is program. You, we see other nations, other countries uh, join in what it calls the BRIC, B R I C uh, B R I S or B R I C S, and they're they're ditching the U.S. dollar. Okay, the U.S. dollar is collapsing right before our eyes. Okay, and this is like I said, guys, it's all by design. This is a scripted reality we're living in. Everyone's fulfilling the role, playing out their characters. Uh, the evil's doing evil. Satan is doing what he's you know doing Satan's will, and you know you children of God. We don't want to be, you know, the AI taking, you have AI taking over. And, you know, after all the, the fear and panic and, and the collapse comes, then it's going to have the social credit score. This is all used to control you people, okay? And I know some people could be hearing this type of things and they could be getting fearful, okay? The spirit of fear could creep up upon them. And let me tell you guys this. When you have God in your life, when you truly believe in the Most High, when you're obeying His commandments, you have nothing to worry about, nothing at all, okay? So please understand that. Uh, but I have to, you know, me being a servant of Christ, me being able to see, me being a seer, I have to let you guys know what's coming before it comes because God wants us to prepare. Now, is it prepared to stock up on food and stock up on this and that? You want to be spiritually prepared, okay? Because like I said, guys, there's a lot of people who are going to be fearful. They're going to be led to panic because they're not, they were not spiritually prepared. A lot of people could be given over to false doctrines. You have people saying they're going to be, there's a pre-tribulation rapture and how we're not going to be here when the market these comes. These people are deceived. I know people are going to get mad at the comments because, you know, that's what happens when you speak the truth. There is no pre-tribulation pre rapture. We're going to, we're all going to see the mark of the beast and people uh, getting it on the, on the right hand or their foreheads. You already have this technology out right now. Okay. When you, when you open up your phone, you have the face ID. 
Okay. When you go to a store, you put your credit card in with the chip in it. So we've been conditionally programmed to accept it for decades now. For decades. Now we're just getting closer to the end. Satan knows that his time is running short, so he's going to implement this. He's going to push it out on the masses. And because people are led by fear, people are led by panic, or I don't want to lose my house. I don't want to lose my material possession. Those who have the love of the world, they're going to be first in line for this. Okay, they want, they want to be able to travel. They want to fit in with the world. And this is why God says, love not the world, neither the things of the world. If any man loves the world, the love of God, the love of the Father is not in them. Okay, so we have to fully give, get, be ready, prepared to leave things behind. It could be your friend. It could be your family. Heck, it could even be your own wife, uh, own husband, own children. The Bible says, if any man not, uh, if any man come to me and hate not his mother, his father, his sister, his brother, his own child, his his wife is not worthy of me. So we have to be spiritually prepared for this. Now, is this saying that your wife and your children are not going to be able to make it? Obviously not. But you have to prepare yourself because some of them are going to choose to follow Satan. Are you going to choose to follow after them? Or are you going to choose to walk that straight and narrow path? So this is not a fear-based message. This is just me warning to, uh, to foreseeing what's going to come and preparing ourselves spiritually. Now, is it a sin? Is it wrong to stock up on food, stock up on water? Personally, it's not a sin. There's nothing wrong with that. But personally, me, you know, uh, now it's always good to have extra water, extra supplies, not because of fear, but because, you know, you never know, a rainy day. You know, there's no, there's no, there's no sin in that. But personally, it's your faith. You got to understand the animals in the air, they don't stock up on food. The animals in the air, they don't work a job, but God still provides for them. So it's all faith. And even the Bible says that faith is a spiritual gift and it only comes through the Holy Spirit. So and even Christ says you got to have faith as a mustard seed. We all know how small a mustard seed is. It's super small. You want to have faith. That's what's going to overpower the fear. That's what's going to overpower the demonic spirits or, or the strongholds. The faith, the faith, the faith as small as a mustard seed, guys, is coming. It's here. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Okay, but it's actually good news because we know the time draw near. We know that Christ is coming back for his bride, a spotless bride. Okay, so we got to give up this world. We got to fight our flesh, fight our sin. Don't worry about a World War III, World War V. Listen, the guys, the war is spiritual. Okay, we are fighting our flesh every single day. It's a war against our flesh every single day. So focus on that. Focus on the things that actually matter, that's actually going to build you up and fight. Fight against your flesh. Fight against the devil. Fight against these principalities, the spiritual weakness in high places. Some people call it the Freemasonry, uh, Illuminati, um, you know, um, the Rosses, you know, all, all Rosses child, all that guys. The Bible says spiritual weakness in high places. We got to have a spiritual mind, which is life and peace. Be spiritual. Be led by the Holy Spirit because, guys, this is coming. You see it's here now. I told you guys three weeks ago it was coming. Now, like I always tell you guys, just like when they made y'all get this, they didn't, they didn't force it upon the masses the, the, the next day. It was slowly implemented. Keep on pushing it in the news. Keep on pushing it in the news. Uh, pushing out more fear. Pushing out more fear. If you don't get this, you're, something's gonna, uh, wrong going to happen to you. They were pushing out fear and fear. And guys, you have to turn off the CNN. You have to turn off the Fox News and open your Bible. Get into your Bible. Get into that word. Tap into the scriptures. Fight your flesh. Okay, fight your flesh. Because like I said, I got a lot of people who say, oh, I'll never get this, and I'll never get that. A lot of them are going to cave in. The way is narrow, and only few find it. So I hope you guys got edified with this video. And I want to make this too long. I don't know. It's uh, so eight minutes long. I'm not going to make this too long. But, you know, expect more videos of this in the future, too, as well. I'm going to be letting you guys know what God is showing me so I can show you guys. And like I said, it's all to prepare. We don't live in fear. We don't live in panic. We don't live in worry. We're, we're warriors of Christ, man. We, what the heck is that? We don't know what that is. Okay, so keep on fighting the good fight of faith. And, you know, keep on, you know, have that armor of God on and fighting because, you know, we're, we have to be prepared for the times to come. And like I said, guys, I'm going to continue updating you guys more and more. Uh, if not monthly, then whatever, you know, if I see this, if I see whatever God shows me, I'm going to let you guys know. Let's put it like that. Okay. So like I said, guys, the Mark of the Beast technology is ready here. <laughs> it's crazy because, no, you know, people are distracted. People are being distracted. There is nothing new under the sun. We're living in Sodom and Gomorrah. Even people are leaving their girlfriends to get with the, uh, with the AI. <laughs> I mean, guys, it's getting weird, 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 weird out here in Babylon. So love you guys so much. If you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like this video. Share this, guys. People got to be informed, okay? I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.